Sauron has yet to reveal his deadliest servant. The one who will lead Mordor's armies in war. The one they say no living man can kill. The Witch King of Angmar. <laughs> Welcome back to Haunt of the Collector with me, Jason. And yes, I'm pre-order. My pre-order is in for the Witch King of Agmar. One more scale, Bus by Infinity Studios. And I am trying to not get too overexcited. I am actually filming this while I'm on night, so I've only been in bed a few hours. So quite often do this, don't I? Uh, so I am a little bit tired. So at least that's keeping me from leaping around and getting all excited. So first of all, let's discuss before i get into all the ins and outs let's discuss where you can pre-order this from and who i've pre-ordered and sort of the prices and the pros and cons blah blah blah, blah. all of relevant information i can think of guys i will put it up on the screen so you can pause and read it for yourself on the dimensions and everything else i'll put all that right as of recording this guys there are two places i've seen that is available from now the first is randy at collector's arc whom i've ordered it through pre-ordered it through the other one is Spec Fiction. Now, this has an edition size of 399, so it's got a healthy edition size. Now, with Randy, I think there was a little bit of a mix up at the start with the prices, but it's been corrected. So these are the prices that I've got. Okay, so this, this is with Randy. Now, I'll do it in Singapore dollars, which is what it's listed in, and I'll convert that into English pounds. And you'll have to convert it into your currency from that. Okay, so so here goes. Okay, so at Collector's Art, the price is three thousand four hundred and ninety-nine Singapore dollars, and that at the current exchange rate equates to two thousand and eighty-five pounds, I think. And the deposit price required is one thousand one hundred ninety-nine Singapore dollars, which equates to about seven hundred and fifteen quid. Now, obviously, on top of that, you have got to put on your shipping and import fees. That's here in the UK and the EU and obviously in America as well. That's because this will be coming from Singapore. Now, I can tell you from experience, the pro side of going with Collector's Arc is you will get this first. You'll get it before everyone because Randy will get it before everyone. So you'll get it very, very quickly, but you will pay a premium. And I do mean a premium here in the UK, guys, shipping from Singapore, going from what I paid on my 1-1 Nazgul bust which is obviously by Infinity Studios, it is a four-figure sum. Yes, you heard me right. I paid over a £1,000 to ship it. So I'm expecting that again. Me, personally, I'm justifying that because I'm ordering so little amount of stuff now. It's an ultimate Witch King piece for me, and I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. I could wait and see if CD UK get it here, you know, and I know when they did get the Nazgul piece on CD UK, I would have saved round about six, seven hundred quid on what they were selling it for. So a lot of the shipping price. So really. If you go with collectors, those are the prices for collectors. Oh, again, I will put it all up on the screen for you. So that is the price. The pros for me is one, I trust Randy implicitly. Two, I know that he will do his very best to get the, the best shipping price he can for me, but it will be extortionate. And of course, if it's an extortionate shipping fee, that is added to the price of the piece. And when it arrives here, we all know what the duty fees are like now in this country. They're horrendous. But... Spec Fiction. Now, Spec Fiction, this will certainly work out cheaper for guys in the US because the guys in the US don't have to pay shipping with Spec Fiction. So the price for them is the price shipped. That doesn't apply to the rest of the world. So you need to bear in mind that you will still have a shipping fee with Spec Fiction outside of the USA and you will have an import fee as well. Now, I can only speak here for the UK. At the moment, on Spec Fiction's website, there are no fees for ship there are no shipping estimates there because how can they because none of us know what the box sizes are and none of us even know the weight of the piece yet so we will put the prices up here for you again now if you pay it in full i think it's two thousand eight hundred and fifty nine dollars which equates to two thousand two hundred and thirty two pounds so that's a little bit more than Randy. Well, but obviously, in the US, they know that that's, that's the shipping fee. Now, if you pay a deposit, you're required to pay a $900 deposit, which, again, is about £715. So it, it's pretty much bang on what you'll be paying for a deposit from Collector's Arc. But there is a slight increase on the price to $2,959, which is £2,361, which is about a £78 difference. So when you're spending this amount of money, it's not a massive amount. But... 
obviously be aware if you're outside the US, you've still got to add shipping to this. And I'm sure spec fiction shipping will be significantly cheaper than what you will pay at Collector's Art because Collector's Art will send it by air. Spec fiction, they get it by boat and they'll send it by boat. So that brings the price crashing down. So those are the figures that I've got so far. The best I can give you for the time being, I've gone with Randy Collector's Art because I've used it before for Infinity and I know I'll get my Witch King super quickly. And again, I've, I've used Randy before, so I know the level of service I'm going to get from Randy. And I know he'll do the best for me in the shipping, but I'm prepared to pay a lot of money to ship it because I think that's what's going to happen. Now, let's get on to the Witch King himself. I must admit, when I first saw it, my first thought was, Aragorn at the Black Gate. Who else saw that? Yeah, so I was a little bit, but then straight to, uh, straight away when I started looking at the other images and you saw it at different angles, that that actually, I, I thought that image would stick with me and it would affect me, but the image dissipated very, very quickly. And from some angles, I really like the way it looked. Oh, well, I do. I like the way it looks, guys. I've, I've, I've gone past that. I'm not going to go all mad over the, the, the rest of it because it's going to be very much like the Nazgul minus the crown. You, you're going to have all robes. I hope they're a little bit better to put on than what the Nazgul robes were. I hope Infinity have addressed that. I also hope they've addressed the issue with the pins in the arms because that was an issue before. So Infinity, if you're watching this, you need to be aware of that. Certainly with the left arm on the Nazgul. I know a lot of people had that issue. So that was clearly a molding issue with the left arm on the Nazgul. So you need to be checking these. Now, will the crown be metal? I don't know. I doubt it. But it clearly lists that there is metal on this somewhere. So the base looks to be spectacular. We've got a Minus Morgul base and we've got green LEDs in there, which is absolutely brilliant. And I think it puts some weight into, into the price because at first I thought oh, it's slightly over two grand maybe a little bit price heavy for what is a lot of mixed media but looking at the detail in the base looking at the led lit and when you compare it to the price of something like what pure arts is lord of the rings license is expensive we all know that we all know licensing lord of the rings is expensive so it's about what 800 pound more than i paid for the nazgul so is there 800 pound there with the leds the details on the base the nazgul base was was poor so i'm really hoping they they massively improve on this this is the base looks there looks to be a lot of detail i love that it's led lit and taking everything into account i think around about 2000 pound is is a relatively fair price maybe erring on the slight of heavy but not not ridiculous certainly not ridiculous so Again, as soon as I saw it was up for pre-order, I was straight on to Randy and my pre-order went straight in. Straight in, guys. And I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to That's get it. That's about everything I can give you on this piece. That's all the information I have. Obviously, you can go and look on Spec Fiction. You can go and look on Collector's Art. You can go on Infinity's page itself and have a look there. I'm sure other people will get it eventually, but I could only go from the information I have right now doing this video. Hope that's enough. I am super excited. I've got some awesome display ideas for this piece, which I'm not going to waffle on about now. I'm going to do that later in a separate video because I've, I've had some mega ideas, which I'm going to share with you all. I can't wait to get it. I can't wait to get it. I think it looks superb. Even though we've got a little bit of Aragorn posing going on there. Doesn't bother me one bit. Doesn't bother me. I've, I've, I've seen it. I've gone past it straight away. It was the first thing that had leapt in my head, but I was I was over it like that. I don't care now. As soon as I saw some of the other angles, I was like, yeah, that looks good. And now I'm going to have it set up anyway. And the angle I've been looking at it most of the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with it. And I can totally get on board why Infinity have done that way. And I totally agree with them for, for going for that because anything else I think would have massively escalated the price anyway and they would have pushed people out and it's give it a nice healthy edition size of 399 which i think is cool so please let me know in the comments what you think to it are you going for it what would you like to see next for me come on mouth of sauron infinity infinity we need a one one mouth of sauron you've got to do it come on you've done a nazgul you've done the witch king you've done sauron let's have a mouth of sauron please oh my head will explode um superb guys so if you've enjoyed the video i really would appreciate it. click on the old like button as i've already said shove anything in the comments regarding this and i will of course get back to each and every one of you huge thanks for watching guys really would appreciate it. if you haven't already also consider subscribing to the channel blah -de blah -de blah -de blah i will catch you all on the next video take care of yourselves and have a great weekend and i'll speak to you all soon Ta -ra.